and only guest tonight is the winner of the Nobel Peace Prize. He's a passionate advocate for human rights. Earlier today, he was in Indian Wells, California, speaking before uh, the Desert Town Hall there. Uh, and he turned up here. It's an honour to have him. Please welcome Archbishop Desmond Tutu, everybody. Uh, to... for being on this show and and I, and I know you must be very tired you just was a 22 hour flight from South Africa uh, I'm looking for two clones two clones oh uh, I see yes <laughs> I'm like I what have you been taking what, what did they give you back yet yeah, well you, no, you're no, gonna I'm, need it I'm 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 just glad to be here but I I think you're crazy. You think I'm crazy? <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what, what on earth gave you that idea? Now, you've met some no, crazy. No, I mean, no, P.W. No. Bota was crazy. I've... No, 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 a different kind of crazy. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. You, yeah. Send, you send them to asylums. Yeah. No, not you. We, we want you. Oh, really? We, 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 we want your crazy. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. Listen, I, I, I often wonder, uh, when you, you, you have such a reputation, I mean, I gave you a huge build-up coming out. Does it, does it embarrass you? Does it make you feel awkward? Did you hear the story of the woman who went to her husband's funeral with her son? And the minister did what you did about me. <laughs> and she turned to her son and said, I think we've come to the wrong funeral. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I think, no. think you're being a little modest there. I mean, it, it can't have been easy what you, were, what you were up against then. And up against that, I mean, I read your uh, editorial in the New York Times this week. Uh, I mean, there, still, you're still doing a lot of work in South Africa, in, in Africa, all over Africa. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, one of the wonderful things about having a dark skin yes. is that when people say things like you were saying, yes. you don't see that I'm blushing. Uh. <laughs> no. Uh, we... we there's a lot of awfulness in the world. Yes, I know. And most of us know that. But what we don't also recognize is there's a great deal of good. I was going to ask you about that. Because yeah. you have, um, you, you, clearly, uh, you're, uh, you're a very high cleric. You're a, a theologian. You studied uh, the religions of the world, particularly your own, I would imagine. Um, <laughs> the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm thinking is, uh, you, did you ever read uh, Thomas Aquinas? A little bit. Right, you know Thomas Aquinas <laughs> when, he, when he goes on about how people are essentially good yeah. and for evil to exist, mm. uh, it, it, evil is an aspect of good that if evil were the only thing then there would be nothing. That's Thomas Aquinas, yes, isn't it? Yeah. it do you, how do you find the good when you're dealing with a situation that you and Mr Mandela were dealing with, with the Praetorian government? What, what, when? When, where do you find the good in these people? Where do you find the, the ability for, uh, for uh, truth and reconciliation? Yeah. Uh, one of the important things to keep remembering is, is that evil is an aberration. That is why you get upset. I mean, right. you get upset when a baby is abused or a woman is abused, I hope. Yes, of course. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I do, uh, yeah. Well, you gave me that look like I didn't. I do. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I mean, we went, we went to Darfur. Right. And uh, it's one of the most awful places in the world. I mean, most of the description of it uh, fall very far short of telling you about the reality. And yet there, there were two things particularly that struck me. It was, we met with the internally displaced persons, the refugees. Right. And you 
you talk to them, living in the squalor and the unspeakable squalor, uh, they could laugh. And, and the men who were Muslim were wearing white robes, clean, yeah. spotless. And you said, now where could they get the water in this place to do this? But the other, that's, just, that's the first. Well, where do they get the water, though? <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually, I mean, part of it is it, it, they, get, they, they, they get trucks bringing right. it in. Okay. If the women try to go and get firewood outside of the camp, yeah. they are raped. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it really is awful. And yet there was this resilience, you know, what human, human beings are incredible. Yeah. I mean, you are incredible. Always no stop. Uh, I, but what I, I was going to... The second thing. Shh. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. No, but the th second thing is you have these incredible human beings who come, most of them from very well-to-do places who are the humanitarian workers. We hardly ever hear enough praise of, of fantastic people. Many of them actually, you know, go there. It's, it's their second, third mission. Right. And you say, what makes them do that? They get no kudos. It is, it is just that they, they would not, in fact, be able to live a normal life if they didn't go and do the kind of things. So there are fantastic human beings. There really are. Is that, is that how you hang on to your faith when you see such uh, evil and, and such injustice? Uh, as, as, a, as a churchman, it must be very difficult. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. I presume too much. But is there... Is there a, a test of your faith when you see how awful the, the things can be? Yes, I mean, it, it, it is that evil is evil. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't, I mean, seek to minimize the ghastlinesses. I mean, when, when, like when people put others into gas chambers, yeah. Uh, that's awful. I mean, that there's, there's no word hard, good enough to describe the, the level of evil. I mean, in, in the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, yeah. you, we heard some gruesome accounts. I mean, somebody says, we gave him drugged coffee. We shot him in the head, and then we burned his body. It takes seven, eight hours for a human body to burn completely. And so whilst the body is burning here, we're having a barbecue here, drinking, drinking beer and laughing, and there's a human body burning, and here's cow flesh burning. And we say, what could have happened to the humanity of anyone? What, that they could sink so low. Well, what, what, what could happen to that? And, and, and how do you find uh, reconciliation? How do you find forgiveness in, in that? It must be, it's a, it's a, it's a gargantuan task, yeah, the it idea. It is, it is, and yet, and yet you met many people, not, not just black people, I mean, white people, uh, who had this incredible magnanimity. Uh, one woman, was with friends at a Christmas party at a golf club. Mm -hmm. and, and one of the liberation movements threw hand grenades into, into the party, and several other people were killed. She wasn't killed, but she was so badly wounded, she was in ICU for several months. Now, she's, she's talking, and she says she couldn't, when she came out, she couldn't wash herself, she couldn't clothe herself, she could not eat, feed herself. It was done for her by her children. And, and then she says, of a di I mean, 
condition that leaves her uh, in, uh, uh, almost totally hopeless. She says, it has enriched my life. Wow. It's enriched my life. This must be crazy. Yeah, it's very and, advanced and, for me. And, I don't get it. I, 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 I know. And, then, and then she says, I'd like to meet the perpetrator. Wow. I'd like to meet him in...